Hey kids, Mr. Adam here. All these April showers had us thinking less about May flowers and more about building a boat. So we found some plans to build a paper boat. We wanted to see which one of us could build a boat that could carry the most amount of weight. We found some cardstock and we got to work. Mr. Adam said we were making a boat. But right now, it looks like a hat. Since you couldn't quite see what the kids were doing there, here's some more detailed instructions. Start by folding the paper lengthwise. Open it and fold it widthwise. Next, fold the corners to the center line. Fold up the rectangular edges from the bottom. Flip and do the same on the other side. Pull apart the sides and flatten the paper, making it into a diamond. Fold one bottom corner up, then flip and fold the other bottom corner up. Bring the ends together and flatten to make another, smaller diamond. Lastly, gently pull the ends down to open and reveal your boat. We went down to the creek near our house to see how well our boats could float. We started off with nothing in our boats and it worked great. Whatever floats your boat. Next we added rocks to see how much weight they could carry. As you can see, these boats could take quite a few rocks and still make it down the creek. If you want to try this fun activity at home or in your classroom, there's a link in the description to My Teachers Pay Teachers for a free download of the worksheets so you can make your very own paper boat. This is a fun activity for introducing estimation in your math lessons. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.